everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a full gameplay of Liliana. In this video as well, I'll be giving you a lot of tips on how to play mage and I'll be explaining all the things that I do also. So if you are a beginner in the mid lane role, you might want to watch this video till the end because there are a lot of useful things for you. As you can see we are playing Liliana and Liliana is basically the best mage in the game when it comes to versatility because she can dive and she can also poke like hell so she is a very reliable pick in any situation. And for any mid laner the first item that you should get is your shoes because you have to rotate a lot and you need movement speed so you can't buy the first item as a mage magic item and if you do that you will be very slow in the rotations so never do that always go for your shoes first and gilded leaves is the best for any mage and sometimes enchanted kicks also works but overall gilded leaves gives you that 35% uh, resistance which is so good for any hero basically one really good thing about Liliana is that she doesn't consume a lot of mana when she uses any of her abilities so as you all probably know there is a health pack behind all the first tier towers as you can see here there is a blue color uh, health pack and if i take it i will get a hp and mana and it is available in all the first tower in all the three lanes right but the mid lane one is special because it gives you a lot of mana region as well so you can use it when you drop low on mana for example if it, since it's liliana i'm not losing a lot of mana but if i'm using a mage like dirac or uh, Krixi, my mana will be uh, gone by half when I use just two abilities. So it is really useful for other mages and for Liliana also it is useful but I don't need to take it right now because as you can see he clears waves easily and doesn't lose a lot of mana as well. So just like how I explained in the how to play mage video, I am coming back to my lane every single time to get the minion wave. So this is very important and after clearing it you can go and join the next fight. Here Hayate gets a very good ult and then we get 2 kills as well. It's more like a kill steal but we'll take the gold. And now I'm just going to come back to my lane because the minion waves are here and as you can see I didn't miss even a single wave. So after clearing it, I can now go back and join the fight in the Abyssal lane if it happens again. So it looks like Kriknak has used Endless Cycle to respawn again and try to kill Hayate but he gets caught out and here I do something really risky. I dive in and got the kill and then flickered out. I didn't even need the flicker, Zip would have saved me but trying to get a kill with mage is not really necessary unless you have a very mobile mage such as Liliana you can try things like that but never try to overextend for kills like that and in this video overall I die only two times and that is due to overextending for getting kills so it is really bad and if you notice there when I took the health pack behind the mid lane tower it gave me like half of my mana back so this is really important for mage because I don't need to go back to my core now Looks like another fight is going to break out in the enemy jungle near the red buff but first we have to clear the wave before joining the fight and that is really mandatory. So now we cleared the wave and now we are going back to the fight. And it's better to be in human form as Liliana when the fight breaks out because you can poke them and then dive in with your ult. Here I dive in and go for a risky play because Zip is with me and he can get me out of trouble anytime. And we also stun the Hayate mid ult and our Hayate secures the kill. And here I made a mistake. I tried to chase Liliana as you can see. I go in, deal the damage, I leave. And then I get greedy and then try to get a kill on Liliana. And even though I killed her, I still died. So it is really bad because I have 4 kills. So getting 3 kills, like getting ultimate. Uh, means that if the enemy kills you now they get shut down so shut down basically gives more gold to the enemies for your kill than they normally get so if you are at 7 kills and the enemy team kills you the killer gets 800 gold but for a normal kill they get only 150 gold so they get a lot of gold if they shut you down so never try to 
over extend and die especially when you have a lot of kills and a lot of gold here their assassins batman and clicknack they tried to kill me but since i was paying attention to the map i saw clicknack coming from the right side and i was able to escape and since the fight is still going on i decided to go and help them out and here i see their liliana getting inside the brush but i thought he will go for our marksman hayate first instead of trying to kill me but he did a really good play and killed me first and kudos to him so now what we are going to try and do is to force a fight in the ad lane so that if we win the fight we will get the tower and also the abyssal dragon and sure enough the fight begins but uh, my recce shot it got locked down tachi and zip tried to take me in but since all my abilities were on cooldown i had to dash out and uh, as you can see since i stayed overstayed my tower is gone and uh, this is what happens if you don't clear minion waves but still we were able to trade towers by taking the abyssal tower starting from now i'll be getting a lot of kills and i think the total number of kills for me in this match is 20 and so all of them will be happening now and uh, i won't be even dying again so all the exciting things will be happening after this only here since we were quick enough we were able to save hayate by dealing damage so as a mage this is something you should try and do if the assassin is really good you have to stay with your marksman but not on top of your marksman so for example if me and hayate are standing together batman can just use his ult on both of us and kill us right but since we are standing a little far away from each other when he try to attack him i can help help him and if batman try to attack me hayate will help me so this is how you should be uh, this is what teamwork really is helping each other out so i have cut out some of the boring parts from the video because we were just rotating and now we are back and we are trying to fight to take the mid tower and as you can see here liliana deals a lot of damage and hayate and tachi are poked out and they have to retreat now and kriknak also gets killed but unfortunately our marksman also died but since we are playing liliana and we have apocalypse on her build we also have a lot of normal attack damage and as you can see the tower got one shot half of its hp so we will be doing a really good play here I use my recce shot on Batman and then change my form and then he gets obliterated and now Tachi is no big deal and since I have a lot of gold I can melt him as well. So from here on I don't think there is any need for me to commentate in this video because it's just going to be a lot of team fights and me getting a lot of kills. So I'll just cut out all the boring parts where I rotate and just include all the team fights that happen here after. So as always if you found this video helpful or enjoyed watching it make sure to support me by hitting the subscribe button a huge thanks to all the recent subscribers in the channel you guys really inspire me to make a lot of videos and with all that out of the way enjoy the video
Let's sing a song full of hope, full of pain Why don't you sing along, my friend, for it's our last refrain Forever young, ever strong, ever brave Memories like this never end, no, they don't fade away So when I'm 